Happy, happy, happy Monday. What is up, family? It's Dr. Dale, the author of How to Raise a Doctor Wizard from Parents Who Did It, the author of Pre-Med Mondays, author of Black Men and White Coast, author of the Dr. Doc Children's Series, and the author of a new book that I'm currently working on. Stay tuned. It's um, a book that a lot of you guys, a lot of um, professionals come to me, ask me questions about certain topics. So it's a book that I'm writing for you professionals who listen to this and and um, who would like to do some of the have certain types of impacts in life. But today is Pre-Med Mondays. Today's all about the pre-medical students, Pre-Med Mondays. And I've got a great question from a member of our uh, Pre-Med Mondays group. Remember, guys, premedmondays.com, www.premedmondays.com. Uh, what we do is we coach pre-med. So every week I send you a video giving you some amazing insights, some gold, some tips to help you be successful, not just as a pre-med, but in life in general. And then on Monday evenings, you get to come together with the pre-med mastermind group, other pre-meds, maybe some med students, uh, maybe Dr. Dale or Dr. Daniel, right? So um, it's a good time. We help develop you guys, get you ready, not just for the next level, but get you ready for life. PremedMondays.com. Definitely check it out. And today's question is a question from another PremedMondays.com member. And um, so we want to answer you all's questions. This is for all the pre-meds and maybe not even pre-meds, but somebody who has a question that will be good for a pre-med. We want to answer your questions. So what I... What I'm asking you guys to do, right? I know some people want to, I get a lot of um, messages on diversemedicine.com or emails. So I'm going to ask you guys to do it a little bit different. Send us a video message, just direct message on our Instagram account. And that's Team BMWC. So at Team BMWC. Send us a message to our Instagram account. Just film it, selfie video. If you don't want a selfie, you can type it. That's okay. But, we, you know, the selfie videos are kind of cool. So go ahead and send us a message with your questions. And then I'll try to answer as many of them as I can on the podcast, right? Send them in. And hopefully we'll get to your questions sooner rather than later. All right. One super huge announcement for the pre-meds. Listen up carefully. Super huge announcement for the pre-meds. Listen up carefully. We're going to be paying for a lot of MCATs, right? So you guys know I started the um, nonprofit Diverse Medicine, Inc. Diverse Medicine started that, uh, you know, a, a decade ago or something, right? So what we're going to be doing uh, probably for the next, you know, 20 weeks or so is we're going to be paying for a lot of MCATs, right? We're going to pay for 20 MCATs. So we're going to pay for you to take the MCAT exam, right? So that's a big deal for those of you who are getting ready to apply. So... Um, we're, we're going to set it up either this week or next week. So where you need to go, it might not be up by the time you look at it, or it might be. I don't know. It depends on how fast we get to it, right? But within the next week, we're going to set this up. So go to blackmenandwhitecoats.org backslash MCATs. Blackmenandwhitecoats.org backslash MCAT. And this is sponsored by the Black Greek Letter Organization. So last year we did a nice little campaign with them, and they raised some funds um, with the intention of us being able to give them to you guys and really however we want, how, however we saw fit for you guys, right? But the, the hope was that we could use it for MCAT, things of that sort with the pre-meds. And, um, you know, we raised some funds and we did it specifically for you all, the pre-meds who support the work we do, who want to go out there and make a difference. We're going to be paying for 20 MCATs, right? That's a big deal. So blackmenandwhitecoats.org backslash MCATs. Check it out. I'll get it up either, you know, sometime in the next few days or maybe next week, right? But definitely make sure you're checking out that website. Go on there. We're going to have a, a, something really simple for you all to do and, and have a chance at applying to get your MCAT paid for by our nonprofit, Diverse Medicine. All right. So take advantage of that. Don't take advantage of that. In the past, let me tell you, in the past, we've, we've, gave, we've given out free um, MCAT prep courses. Also, I'm talking like $2,400 courses. And we've, we've done this in the past, and we've, we've had situations where people didn't even come ask for them. I remember one year we had like two left over. We give out, we're giving out a lot of them. We had like two left over, and people didn't even come. We we're like, hey, do you want it? Do you want it? People weren't taking it. Like, what are y'all doing? Take advantage. We're giving you guys things that are worth a lot of money to help you take advantage of this, right? So, again, we're going to be paying for 20 MCAT, not the courses, but we're going to be paying for 20 MCAT exams for those of you who are preparing to take it. And we want these to be kind of a need base, so we want you to need it, need our assistance, and we're going to help you guys get there. All right, so I've got a question. Um, all right, so I'm reading my question here. All right, so I've got um, a question, right? And the question is comes from Michael T. comes from Michael T. He's, again, he's a member. He's a phenomenal member of our Pre-Med Mondays group um, uh, that we meet on Monday nights. So Michael T. asked the question. When preparing your medical school application, how do you select those most meaningful moments on your activities list? Like what's the process of choosing what's most meaningful versus all your 
all your extra activities you've ever done throughout your career. Um, Because the hard part is really saying, you know what, at least for me, every part of my life I think is important, you know, every moment. So for me, it's hard to kind of condense those moments as most meaningful. So how do you, like, what's your approach to choosing those moments? Great question, Michael. Phenomenal question. And for me, it's, it's, um, I would say it's kind of simple, right? It's a simple concept. It's simple, but not easy, right? So, so the, the idea is simple, but the effort and in, in distilling it might be, it might, you might struggle with it a little bit, but you'll, you'll come down to figure it out. And I understand your question. I get where you're coming from. Here's the question I would ask myself if I were you or any pre-med who's applying, which one of these experiences transformed my life? Which one of these experiences trans transformed my life? And I use that word transformed a lot, right? So you guys know we just put out the documentary, Black Men and White Coast documentary, and we're seeing how it transformed people, right? It's it's one thing to be an important event. It's one thing to, for something to be an, an important experience you had. We all have important experiences. Shadowing is an important experience. Um, you know, you might have um, maybe lost a loved one, important experience. You might have play the college sport or high school sport. So there's so many things that are important experiences, probably just some volunteering work that was an important experience. But the question is, which one transformed you? Which one took you, molded you, changed you into something new and something better? That's the way you should view this question, right? There's so many things that I've done in my life that I'm like, oh, that was important, that was important, that was important. But there's... There's X amount of things that have truly transformed me. There are X amount of people that have truly transformed me. One of the things that transformed me was coaching, was taking that first step to pay a coach in my life, right? I came out of um, residency. I was in fellowship. I was in training. I didn't have money like that still, right? But I paid a coach. And working with that coach over a year, that transformed my life. That transformed my thinking. Uh, probably one of the biggest things that transformed me was when I met a guy named Darius. And he started teaching me about... Um, you know, about the biblical things and, and my faith and things of that sort. That's probably one of the biggest things that really transformed my life. That's different than something that was important to me, right? So view it from th this idea of what experience did I do that changed the way I went forward? It, it changed who I was. It changed the way I interacted with people. It changed the way I, I walked. It changed the way I carried myself. It changed the way I stood up straight, right? Those are transformational experiences. So when are talking about this list of, hey, what's important to me? The question you should be asking is, which experiences did I have that after I finished the experience, I was a different, I was changed, I was a different person? If I'm sitting on the other side of the table reading your application, that's what I want to know, right? That's what I want to know. I want to know, hey, you know, this kid, Michael, he's done a lot of cool stuff. That's, that's great. But hey, a lot of people have done a lot of good stuff. But what transformed him? What was it that made him say, I'm a new person? I view the world with a better perspective now, right? I view the world with, the world with a more realistic perspective. I view the world in a way where I know my place in it better now than I did before. Ask yourself that specific question, right? Which experiences have helped me better find my place in the world? Have helped me find where I can best add value to the world, right? So that's the way to sort through this. That's the question you should ask yourself as you're going through all your experiences. Was I transformed by this? Yes or no? Or maybe even put it on the scale. What was my, you might say, hey, Dr. Dale, but everything transforms me. Okay, I, I would challenge that. Everything does change, but I would challenge you to really think about what, what are the ones that really got you? What are the ones that really got you, okay? And then just rank them. Say, all right, this one really changed who I was. This one really stepped like, hey, Michael, I know you might not, you might not put it on your application, but from the from the pre med Mondays members, what we hear is pre med Mondays transforms them, right? You guys go through this program and you guys ship. That's what I'm talking about. Something like this, right? So I know a lot of you guys, you go through this and then you guys start viewing things differently. You have a better mindset, a better approach to life, more leadership, things of that sort, right? So things like that. So what other things on your list actually transformed you and got you to that point where you you would say, hey. I was different, man. I was, before I did this, I was just completely different. I wasn't where I'm at today. You know, I add more value to this world today because of this experience. That's the way you should look at it, Michael. That's the way. That's how you prioritize what goes on that list, right? Because if you can explain to somebody how you were transformed, they'll be like, wow. 
Because and here's the deal: most people don't. Most people in life don't even understand this idea of transform. Like a lot of people don't get. It. A lot of people just go to work. They do what you're supposed to do day in day out, day in day out, day in day out. You're just going through the motions. It's like when I'm coaching my kids in sports, right? We're doing some practice stuff. And my kids are just going through the motions, going through the motions. I'm like, stop going through the motions. Even those practice, go at it like it's the game, right? So most people just day in day out. They don't stop to think about, hey, what do I need to be doing, or what have I done? How can I be changed? What what can I do differently to get better? Those are the questions you want to be answer. You want to be asking, and then whenever the person reading the application sees that your, the re- application reviewer, whenever they see that and they see that you can clearly explain how you were transformed. So when you're writing your descriptions, you want to in your descriptions. It's not just I had a great time. I did this. this. It's no, this trend. I was transformed by this experience. Right. You don't have to use that word, but that's the idea you want to get at. Okay. I've said the word transform like a million times in your mic. I'm doing it on purpose. I'm doing it on purpose because I want it to stick in your mind. I want you to really understand what I'm saying. I want you to get that. That's what leadership is about. Leader, leaders are always trying to figure out how can I be transformed into adding more value. That's that's that you know when I wake when I'm going and Michael, you already know how I get down. You've been on enough of this pre med Monday's calls with me. You understand my mindset, right? So when I approach today, when I'm listening, I wake up in the morning and I do some sort of um faith based something for my faith, right? Uh, you typically in that in the car, I'm listening to the audio book or a podcast all day long. I'm trying to, I'm working on transforming myself to become a person who can add more value to the lives of other people. So that's the question you should ask yourself which one of these experiences transformed me to give me that perspective of how I can add more value to the lives of other people and prioritize it that way, Michael. All right, guys. So I hope this episode was useful to you guys. I hope it was. It should be if you're paying attention to what I'm saying. It should be useful to you, okay? Um, so for pre med, check out premedmondays.com. And look forward to seeing you guys on there. And again, I'll send you guys a video message every week to help you guys out. Big, 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 big announcement today. Again, is we're going to be paying for 20 people's MCATs. So go to blackmenandwhitecoats.org backslash MCAT. Blackmenandwhitecoats.org backslash MCAT. Take advantage of it. All right, guys, man. Hey, let's have a great week. It's going to be a good week. Be positive about the week. Don't say, oh, it's Monday. Say, yes, it's Monday. I get to go at this week again all over. Let's make some great things happen. Let's be transformed. Love you guys. Have a good, good week.